easy. Okay. So, last thing we did yesterday. What about? I don't know what that means. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, yesterday, the last thing we did was talk about parallel versus perpendicular vectors. Um, parallel vectors had an angle of 0 or 180 between them. Perpendicular, orthogonal is the word we use, had an angle of either 90 or 270, but it also had a special property that the dot product equals 0. So that property is what we're going to use for this problem. Um, it says find a scalar k, so a number, um, so that these two vectors, v and w, are orthogonal. So if you know they're orthogonal, you know from yesterday that the dot product must equal zero. So that can help you set up an equation for this. To calculate the dot product, remember you multiply the um, first components together, you multiply the second components together, and then you add. So here, if I multiply the numbers in front of my eyes, I would get a 4k. If I multiply the numbers in front of my j, I would have a negative 2 and a 6, and then we add those together. And then you can see we just get this really simple little equation back from Algebra 1 to solve them, just a linear equation. So I have 4k minus 12 equals 0. So what's k going to equal? k equals 3. And then you can double check that. You can plug that in for k and double check that you get orthogonal vectors. You can even find the angle between them and see that you're going to get 90 degrees for this one. Okay, so just a little recap on that from yesterday. Questions there? Okay, so um, the new formula we're going to get today that includes a dot product still is projecting a vector. Um, think of a projection of a vector kind of like a shadow that's being created of a vector. So let's say, this is not great lighting here for this, but let's say I put my arm out and I create a shadow, well, kind of there, I guess, okay? Um, it's coming from the light. My shadow is the projection of my arm that is a vector. The shadow is parallel to my board. When we project, we are projecting onto another vector. So consider my board the vector that we're projecting onto. Depending on where the light is at, it will either project down like this or the opposite direction if we have like an obtuse angle that we're looking at. So that's what we're calculating. We're calculating a new vector that could be shorter or longer depending on where the light is located at. You know how that works with shadows. Um, and that is parallel to another vector. So like the surface that we're projecting it onto. The formula that we use for this is down at the bottom here. I want to write this guy down right there. Okay, so this is projecting vector v onto vector w, and it creates that shadow vector. Okay, um, the notation that we're going to use, it's going to say PROJ for projection. The vector that's being projected is going to be big, and what we're projecting it onto is going to be a subnotation w in this case. The formula here is everything that you know how to do inside here. You know how to do a dot product. We know how to do a magnitude. Here we square the magnitude, and then we multiply it by vector w. And we get a new vector that's the vector of projection. You will also be asked to find a scalar projection. Scalar projection is just a fancy way of saying the length of the projection, the length of the shadow. Um, so we have a formula for it, but you don't need that. Once you find the projection, you can just find the magnitude of your projection. Okay, so vector projection is the vector itself. Use the top formula. Scalar projection is the length of that vector. Okay, and that's what we're going to do on the next page. Everybody got it written down? Okay. So... Given vector v is 1, negative 2, and vector w is 2, 5, find the vector and scalar projections of v on to w. So we're going to find the vector projection first. And the notation would look like this, v on to w. Things that we need to find, and I'll just do them off to the side to start. I'm going to need the dot product of v and w. 
I'm also going to need the magnitude of W what we're projecting onto. All right, so dot product, multiply the first components, 1 times 2. Multiply the second components, negative 2 times 5. Grand total of negative 8, 2 and negative 10. Magnitude of W, that's just our little Pythagorean theorem, square root, 2 squared, and 5 squared, which gives me rad, 29. Okay. Formula for the projection is dot product divided by magnitude of W squared times vector W. So filling up what we just found, dot product is negative 8. The magnitude of W is rad 29, but when we square it, it's just going to be a 29. And we are multiplying that through vector W, 2, 5. Distribute, you end up with negative 16, 29 and negative 40, 29. That is the vector projection. That's the shadow that's formed. Okay? Questions there? Okay. The other thing we need to find is the scalar projection. The scalar projection is just the magnitude of what we just found. Negative 16, 29 and negative 40, 29 which is our little Pythagorean theorem. 16 over 29 squared plus 40 over 29 squared. And this gets a little gross, so we'd probably use a calculator for that. Where's my calculator? Um, All right, I'm just going to approximate it here because we don't get a nice pretty answer. Um, it's about 1.49. Okay, questions getting a vector projection or a scalar projection? Just quick little formulas. Mm -hmm. I feel like I remember something about the scalar on the map, but, but that was the one we had. Um, we had... There were scalar. Scalar just means like a constant number. So that could be in any context. Like we did scalars with vectors where we were just stretching them. Like if I said, here's vector v, find 2v, that's multiplying by a scalar. And we did that in the last section. I so feel like they gave me like a different formula. So it was like the same type of problem. But you think it was a projection problem? Well, not like this exactly. Just I gave, was given like an equation to do. Mm, I don't know. In the help, sometimes it's not as helpful. <laughs> Maybe show it to me at the end of the period if you have one that's that you're thinking doesn't fit. Let's see. Okay. All right. Anything else on this problem? Okay. The last thing that we're going to do is actually use this projection formula to decompose a vector. When we decompose vector v, our job is to find two new vectors that add to get to that vector, which if that's the only specification, there's going to be an infinite number of answers or an infinite number of things that add to vector v, whatever that is. When we decompose, we break it into two parts in two special ways. We want one of the vectors to be parallel to a vector, call it w, and we want another vector to be orthogonal to w, okay? So W is like this other vector that we're using to decompose with respect to, is how it's going to be worded. To find vector V1, we're just going to use our projection formula, because a projection formula forms a parallel vector. So check, okay? Then, if we already know the parallel vector, we've got two of the three parts of this little equation up here. We have V and V1, so to get V2... We just take V and subtract V1, and we end up with an orthogonal vector, which is kind of cool. Okay. 
okay? So this is decomposing vector V. We're breaking vector V into two parts with respect to W. And W will be parallel to one and orthogonal to the other. Good? Okay. So, last problem. Find the decomposition, so we're looking for V1 and V2 here, where vector V is 5, 1, and we're respect, uh, decomposing with respect to W, which is 4, 4. Okay, so we are first going to find the projection of V onto W using this formula. So again, to the side, you probably want to calculate a couple things. Dot product first. Multiply the first components, 5 times 4. Multiply the second components, 1 times 4. And here I would get 24. Okay. I also need the magnitude of W. Square root, 4 squared plus 4 squared. So that's 16 and 16. It's going to be rad 32. You can break this one down, but I wouldn't because we're just going to square it anyway. So it's going to get rid of the radical for us. Okay. So filling that in up top, my dot product is 24. My magnitude again is rad 32, but when I square it, I just get 32 times vector W for and the 24 over 32 here actually reduces. What does it reduce to? Twenty-four and thirty-two are both divisible by eight, so three over four. So I'm doing three fourths times four four. Well, what is three fourths times four? It's three. So we're gonna end up with three. 3, and that projection is vector 1, and it's half of my answer. That is going to be parallel to W, which we know how to check that. We could find the angle between V1 and W and make sure it's between 0, or either 0 or 180. Okay, then to finish the decomposition, remember V equals V1 plus V2. I already have two of the three pieces. Vector V is 5, 1. V1 is 3, 3, and V2 is what's missing. So to solve this equation, I just move that 3, 3 vector over to the other side. 5, 1 minus 3, 3 equals vector 2. And remember, when we subtract vectors, we just subtract like components. So my first components, 5 minus 3, would give me 2. My second components, 1 minus 3 gives me negative 2, and that is vector V2, which if you want to check it, will be perpendicular or orthogonal to W. So you could do a quick little dot product with that and W and make sure you get zero. That's a great little fast way to check it at the end. And that is it for vectors. It's just the last few things we didn't get to yesterday. Okay. Questions on any of that? All right. We get out of here today at... What time? Circuit 1140. So you guys have 15 minutes. Um, remember, your 7 4 is due tonight. 7 5 is due Thursday night. And tomorrow is a Math XL work day. Okay? All right. I'll do cell phone lotto. That's all I got for you.